Uh, for many years, and, and still today, I have been and continue to be a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, of course, if you've watched me for the last number of years, you know that I do not believe they have been meeting their own standards their last couple of years. You know, we went through well over a decade, 12, 13 years of them like knocking it out of the park almost consistently to the last couple of years being quite frankly hit and miss. I'm still a fan and, and whatever, but you know, I'm a, my enthusiasm's waned a bit as they don't quite crank out the same quality that they used to. Maybe they can get back to it. But even back in the day when they were hitting home run after home run after home run, there was one steaming bag of dog feces sitting on the sidewalk of our entertainment landscape that just had a stench you couldn't ignore. <laughs> and that was the television series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It was horrible. And I feel bad about that because no, you don't. <laughs> I do. I do feel bad about that because okay. I love Clark Gregg. Yeah, yeah. I love him. And I think he's actually great in the show. And he's magnificent as Agent Coulson in the whole MCU. I love him. Uh, Ming-Na Wen. Who doesn't love Ming-Na Wen? And she was, she was great in the show. Um, but it, it is what it is. And you know what? The show had its fans. It absolutely had its fans. And I would never try to talk anybody out of loving something that they love. I love that. If you loved Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I love that you loved it. I'm jealous because I wish I loved it too. But it was garbage uh, to me at any rate. <laughs> not that they, hey, listen, in their 100 plus episodes that they have, not to say that they didn't have a couple of winners. They did have some episodes that I really like, but overall I thought it kind of stunk. Anyway, when it mercifully died and went away, uh, I thought, good, that's the end of it. But no, no, no. Apparently, there are there are people out there, and God bless them, that, that would love to see a return of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Marvel might be giving it to them. This comes us from the folks over at CBR who write the following. Speaking to Agents of Fandom on YouTube, uh, Winterbomb, we were talking about him yesterday. He's the head of uh, Marvel Streaming uh, television and animation, I believe, who is also, well, there it says right here, who is also the head of animation <laughs> and streaming, hinted at the potential revival of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. once the studio's current projects are complete. We're in production on Daredevil Born Again in New York, he said. They're shooting as we speak, and I'm seeing text messages come up from the set. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is probably the next show that we're going to kind of revisit and revive a really strong and one of my favorite pockets of our universe and our fandom. And you never know is the answer. You never know is the answer. So he's not definitively saying they're going to go revisit Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but he is saying it's on their radar. It's, it's one of their potentials that they could go back and do. The question is begged to ask. In an era where Bob Iger is saying, we need to cut back on how much we're producing. We got to be more selective about what we're producing. And we got to refocus our emphasis on quality over quantity. I have to ask why. Why, why would you even contemplate an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. unless it's a complete revisioning? Because I, some of you might remember, this is going back a number of years, but I was really quite excited about the concept of the show. I thought the concept of the show of looking at it from these mere mortals' point of view, this world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and looking at it from these people who make up, these normal people who make up S.H.I.E.L.D., the organization S.H.I.E.L.D., and looking at this world and everything that goes on from their perspective, I thought was fascinating. You know what it reminds me of? What was that ABC or NBC television series that takes place in the D.C. universe? Power. Oh. What, Powerless. Like, power Powerless. Right, right. With uh, the one Filipina girl. Oh, Vanessa, Vanessa Hutchinson. Vanessa Hutchins. Yep. I don't care what anybody says. I loved that show. I had so much fun with it. Only lasted one season. But it was kind of the same idea, right? Looking at the world of these immortals from the perspective of mere mortals. And I thought the concept was great. Then the show started. And I was like, oh, this is garbage. But that's fine. Maybe if they have like a total revisioning. A total reimagining of what they can do and who a new group of agent shields or shield agents, I should say, maybe there could be something there. And, you know, I'm happy for people who were fans of the original show that maybe they'll revisit a property you really like. I'm not one of them, but I'm happy for those who are. So I don't know, Chris, they're talking about maybe doing an agents of shield. Mm -hmm. uh, good idea, bad idea. 
If they do, is it a reviving, getting the original cast back? Is it a kind of a re-envisioning? And what do you think really the overall chances are that they actually do it? I think there's a high chance of it, honestly, because there are pockets of that that are great. Unlike you, I enjoyed the beginning of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I was there for a couple seasons and I was having a great time with it. I was liking that. I was liking Agent Carter. I was having a fun time. I loved Agent Carter. Agent Carter was wonderful. And then they did some things that I went, I don't know about that. And then I fell off the show eventually. Uh, loved all of the the Clark Gregg stuff, obviously, because he's an amazing actor. I love all the stuff with Daisy, too. I think we had some really fun stuff in an interesting way to start incorporating mutants into things without saying mutants, obviously, because we didn't have that IP yet. Um, but it was, a, it was a pretty great show, and I liked the boots on the ground aspect of it, until it wasn't that. <laughs> um, I feel like sometimes, too, we tried to shoehorn in the movies in a way that just didn't feel truthful. Right. Yeah. Of just like, and for budgetary reasons, we're not going to actually have this person here, but we will allude to it. Like the Netflix shows did. Oh, they lot. name dropped all the yeah, time. Exactly. All the time they were name dropped. Or it was, okay, well then maybe just like show me like, I don't know, some telecommunications from this character or something. You know what I mean? Um, but if there's enough interest in it and if it's done well, that's the thing. I feel like we've just had so many kind of chips and little pieces thrown off of different Marvel properties. And if we are going to be doing this kind of almost revisionary look at our own universe you got to have a really strong tight story and know what you want from the get-go and with marvel doing this kind of spaghetti at the wall thing that they've been doing for the past few years i think they really really need to streamline especially the rebooted or reimagined kind of projects because there's already something out there there's already kind of a baseline of how we feel about that property you gotta exceed those expectations it can't be worse than the show that you canceled you know what i mean guys we want to thank a sponsor of today's video better help guys it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making new year's resolutions you know things they want to change about themselves but i've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those and therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick i've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs our hobbies our relationships like our mental health and i've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. All right. So I will say this too. One of my long-standing criticisms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even at the peak of my fanboyism with Marvel, has always been that the MCU is also just kind of the Marvel fake death universe, where like there is no such thing as death to any of the characters. They all get brought back and all that kind of stuff. I will put a voluntary hold on that philosophy of mine for them to bring back Clark Gregg. I, maybe not even for an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Just find some way to get Clark Gregg back into the MCU. <laughs> I, I I would personally kind of love it. And I, I won't even complain that they're doing another Marvel fake death universe thing. I'll be perfectly okay with it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.